Families of Refuge is a project started by the charity Home for Good, which is trying to help provide one of our basic needs, specifically for younger children. Yeah, these young people, they're unaccompanied asylum-seeking children. They've been separated from their family. Many of them have seen their families die. They have no one in the world that they know and trust and love, and therefore they need family connections. Um, it's not enough just to have somewhere safe to live. Uh, none of us lives just from you know, having accommodation. We all need those rich relationships that help life worth living. And Krish hopes that looking back at the past can help inspire our choices for the future. Back in 1939, the UK welcomed 10,000 Jewish children that were fleeing the Nazis. And it's time for that same 1939 kinder transport spirit to come again. So all we really need are families and individuals to come forward that can welcome a 16 to 18 year old young lad. Uh, they're likely to be from places like Eritrea, Syria and Afghanistan. And if you can be that kind of person for them, you can make a huge difference in their lives. So for one family here in Wiltshire who has helped a few young children, what were their experiences like? At times it was brilliant, lots of fun, lots to learn. At other times it was really challenging, quite difficult. Um, uh, and you're, you're working with young people who often have really difficult backgrounds and you have to care for them and provide for them. Um, with the asylum seekers we had to help them learn English and adapt to our culture, so really challenging at times. But why did they choose to welcome new people to their family? It's just part of who our family is. Um, we enjoy welcoming other people into our home. Um, after each um, placement, we did have a family meeting just to make sure that everyone was happy to do it again. And I think it's just knowing that whether that young person realises um, what you're trying to do for them at the time or not, hopefully in the future they will look back and see um, the happy times that they had and, and how that they can belong and how that they are loved no matter what background that they come from. And based on their experiences, what would they say to other families who are weighing up the possibilities? Fostering and looking after unaccompanied asylum seekers, you're, you're offering people hope, you're offering them life and, and that's just so valuable. It, it is challenging and it is tough but the, the cost of it is really worth it when you see a young person start to thrive and step into their potential. So for the St Paul's Church here in Salisbury, they think families across our county can extend their generous hospitality to help those less fortunate. My experience of being the vicar of St Paul Salisbury is that uh, Wiltshire has such a generosity of spirit, really good-hearted people, and I think it would be just amazing if Wiltshire can welcome some refugees, uh, children who are without their parents, giving them a, a, a home, giving them a life, giving them a fresh start. You know, this is kind of the, the welcome that we can do. And uh, in terms of kind of a church being involved with that, that's what we're all about, really. Uh, you know, like our heart as a church, we're, we're called to love God and love our neighbour. Chris just hopes that we can live up to what it says on our newest 50 pence pieces. It's time for us to show the world what kind of nation we're going to be. Uh, on a 50p piece recently minted to celebrate Brexit, it said that we were going to offer peace, prosperity and friendship to all nations. Well, here's a very practical way that we can make that promise come true. Could you welcome an unaccompanied asylum-seeking young person into your house, give them the love and support they need so they can flourish and develop. They've had a terrible start in life. It's time we help make their lives better. Ian Sheridan, that's TV.